Good morning, adventurers. We are in Amsterdam today. We have got these awesome I Amsterdam city cards. We're going to be using them to do all kinds of fun stuff in the city during our stay here. You can go, you get access to a bunch of museums. You get a bunch of discounts on food. We get like free transit throughout most of the city. It's pretty bananas. We definitely don't have enough time to use it all, but we're gonna do our best to use as much as we can. First up, we are dead set on doing a canal tour. I feel like it's something you have to do while you're in Amsterdam. Yeah, and with these cards, you can hop on at all kinds of locations all over the city. So I think there's one on the other side of uh, where we are. We're gonna yeah. go catch it. By the way, this morning we came out to the uh, I Amsterdam sign, and this place is crowded. <laughs> we were trying desperately to get a nice uh, photo with the sign, but look at that. Look at all those people. <laughs> and it's a Wednesday morning. Yeah. What are all these people doing here? So we just picked up our tickets for our canal tour. They're typically like 20 euros, I think. But with our I Amsterdam passes, they were free. Woo! We just learned that uh, no one can really afford to live on these canal houses anymore, but instead there's a bunch of uh, businesses and banks and insurance companies in there, and sometimes they split them up and use them for apartments. Interesting fact guys, Amsterdam has over 100 kilometers of canals and around 1,500 bridges and then all of the waterways are man-made other than the Amstel River, which we rode on, which the city is named for. So the way these canal cruises work is, uh, oh, we're literally walking through another boat. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. You can hop on them and hop off them at any time. So we're gonna kind of use it like a little bit of a taxi. And we're gonna stop here at the Central and then we're gonna maybe ride it later to get back to our uh, hostel. Little pro tip for you guys. We got on our boat, where in the city were we when we got on the boat? Gosh, near the I Amsterdam sign. Yeah, near the I Amsterdam sign, and we just walked right on, and we got dropped off at Central. And look at this line. Everyone here has to queue up to get a spot on the boat. That's crazy. Nikita was in Amsterdam, he came to this cheese museum and said that it was awesome because you can sample a ton of different cheeses. Yeah, I have a lot of cheese and it's so all well, the samples are free. It's so that's where we're going next. The minute you enter, you get a musty odor of cheese. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's like great. a stinky cheese. Whew, that's potent. This one I just tried here is beer cheese, and I never had beer cheese before, but it tastes like beer. Straight up. Oh god. It's a little weird. I feel like somehow it's even fizzy. It's like fizzy beer cheese. Uh, it comes from 20 weeks. Goat cheese? Goat's cheese. This is goat's cheese aged for 20 weeks, you said? Yes, with honey. With All right. Honey. Ooh. And it is the World Cheese Award winner. Ooh. All right. This is truffle cheese, and Allison's convinced I'm not going to like it. <laughs> it's got a lot of flavor. Don't smell oh, it. God. Don't smell it. I made the mistake of smelling it. It doesn't smell good. I don't think I'm going to try this. One. No, you have to. Uh, you no. Got to. <laughs> no way. Oh come on, just. I don't. I don't like truffle. I don't like it. <laughs> this bowl here is triple pesto. We've got a blue one. I'm going to see if I can get all three. Whoa, that's a big one. Green one and red one, pinkish red one. Oh, got, a, got more than I bargained for. All right, this looks like uh, the rainbow ice cream. <laughs> I don't know if they're all three meant to be eaten at the same time. There's a lot of, a lot of conflicting flavors going on in there. Woo! There's like a mint, a heavy mint uh, taste to it. That was a lot of fun and absolutely delicious. Got to try all sorts of cheeses that I've never had before. Nice job. <laughs> this guy came through with that one. It was a stinky Woo. winner. Yeah. <laughs> So 
we've come to like the central part of Amsterdam to find a bite to eat. And this place is, uh, it's got all the classic Amsterdam stuff you would expect. We've got like uh, hot coffee shops all over the place. Every other corner has a sex shop on it. Lots of stuff that I'm not gonna show on the vlog, but <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> So we found a random restaurant that's in like this epic old castle building. And we got um, something that was called uh, Flamkuchen, Flam Flam I think, Dutch smoked chicken. Uh, we weren't really sure what to expect, but it came on this like a uh, crackery bread type of thing with a bunch of chicken on there and some, uh, what else came on top of it? Curry mayo. Curry mayo. Curry mayo up there. Yeah, and then the real reason we came is because I saw that they had these, which are bitter ball, which are little like, I think fried meatball type of things, but it's, very Dutch and one of the foods I guess you're supposed to try when you're here. So we're gonna try it. So this is beef um, mixed with butter and flour, some I think parsley, salt and pepper, and then maybe other seasonings. I don't know, you, I guess you can even put veggies and stuff in there. Um, but they make the, the ball and then they let it sit and firm up and then they fry it. All right. So is that like some mustard? Uh-huh. Whoa, yeah. Dude, it kind of exploded. Oh man. <laughs> It definitely has some curry in there. That is really interesting. I thought it would be like a meatball, but it's like a paste with meat bits in it. And it is delightful. Oh my goodness. It's real hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Harder than I thought it would be. It's gonna be real crunchy. Oh. It just explodes. Yeah. <laughs> it's so squishy. Oh yeah, that mustard adds a little nice little kick to it. Yeah, it's a little, a little spicy. It's <laughs> spicy brown. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's it's really interesting. It's like a pasty kind of gravy substance in there. Yeah. Hmm. I had no idea. It's pretty good though. There's her ball. That ended up being really delicious, and because we have our I Amsterdam cards, we got 25% off. So next we've stopped at a coffee shop that was just nearby the place we just ate at, and I'm not even gonna try to pronounce the name of this coffee shop, because... <laughs> something like that. <laughs> but they, uh, with our I Amsterdam card, we get 25% off their cakes. They have a bunch of awesome cakes. Yeah, they're actually known for their apple pie, which I think Nikita is getting, but we're not the biggest apple pie fans, but they had apple cinnamon cake. So we figured that's probably pretty close, right? And um, the first piece fell apart, so she gave us two pieces. <laughs> Nikita did get the apple pie, and take a look at this. They gave him a mountain of whipped cream with that, that looks sucker. Amazing. Oh, yeah, man. that's gonna be good. Oh, my pretty Lord. good. Mm-hmm. Holy cow! Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo. We're gonna go into a sugar coma, but yeah. it is worth it. Oh man, that's real oh, sweet. Yeah. You got about... like. Whole apples in there. Dude, I'm gonna do this. Can I borrow some of those? Yeah. <laughs> I'm borrow some of <laughs> <laughs> As long as you give it back. Dude. Next level. Mm. The bottom of this pie is all like caramelized and oh, it yeah. is so freaking good. <laughs> if you can get a piece of it. Get in there. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh. So we came to the central station to grab a free ferry that will take us across the river to an area called um, NDSM. Is that what it's called? I think so. NDSM? Yeah. BDSM? Not BDSM, like we keep joking. <laughs> So NDSM is the name of the company that used to operate here. And in the 30s, they were the largest shipbuilder in the world. They built some gigantic ships, apparently. And then in the 80s, the whole place fell in disrepair because they didn't really have demand to build the ships anymore. And instead of let everything go to waste, they kind of revitalized the area, turned it into like kind of an art gallery type of space. It's very cool so far. It's very unique. The writing on the outside says that this crane is a hotel. If that's true, that is insane. <laughs> that is a that sick is hotel. <laughs> Thank you. 
we've entered a giant warehouse and it's almost like a little city in here or I something. Know, it's just a bunch of like artists and Yeah, I think offices? there's actually like offices in here. You guys, we had an absolutely amazing time exploring Amsterdam today. Um, can't wait to get out and explore the city a little bit more tomorrow before we head on to Berlin. Is that where we're heading next? Mm -hmm. On yeah. Friday, in two days. Yeah. By the way, I wanted to give a huge thank you to I Amsterdam for hooking us up with our passes today. It was a lot of fun using those to explore the city. It's been awesome. We've just been seamlessly getting on trains and buses and trams and everything. Yeah, and we're probably going to explore some museums tomorrow. I think so, yeah. hopefully. Because you get into a ton of museums with this card. Yep. But anyways, we are hanging out on the canal in the red light district. Had to come see it <laughs> at yep. least once. And uh, I think we're going to chill. These two are going to eat a little, uh, a little brownie, goodie. a special little brownie that they bought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we're going to call it a night. Good night, adventurers. <laughs> we'll see you on the road.